it's Pete here and I'm back again for another weekly free instant tournament. I'll show you how to get in, uh, but yeah, just jump on to BBO, then come up to Solitaire Bridge, then down to weekly free instant tournaments. It's eight boards, it's free, give it a shot and we can compare. Um, right, uh, pass pass to me and I've got a triple four one sixteen count. Um, here, what I usually do is just open a diamond and then sort of uh, fudge my way around. Triple four ones are like notoriously difficult to actually describe in most bidding systems. Uh, sometimes people might consider opening one no trump. Uh, you only consider this with like a triple four one really, and only then with like a singleton honor, maybe ace or king. Um, I tend not to do it, but it definitely is like there or thereabouts with the winning action. So. I wouldn't be surprised if opening one no trump here was the best thing to do. One big downside here is partner just transfers to hearts and that might just uh, be stuck. Hey David, how's it going? Um, so diamond is spade, uh, I just want to jump raise to show you an invite and we're in four spades. So if anyone did open a no trump, uh, you would probably still get two four spades here. Um, all right, uh, we have no spade losers. We've got three heart losers and I want to do trumping. Uh, clubs, I've got two club losers. So I, I just want to trump um, as many of my hearts as possible. So maybe I effectively just cross rough this hand, just win, hopefully win the queen of clubs and just like heart to the ace, ace of diamonds, trump a diamond, trump a heart, trump a diamond. And uh, I think I'll get 11 tricks there. Hey ACB Luke, thanks for coming in. Obviously they might win ace and do something fancy. No. All right, so let's get this ace out of the way. And if you look at how many roughs I need to get, um, I've got down to the nine as the highest trump. So I need to rough one heart low here and two diamonds there. So as long as the diamonds aren't really uh, badly split, I'll be in good stead. Okay, we can rough that, rough again. And I'll just overtake and draw the last trump. And they get the last two. Hi Sharon, thanks for coming in. 75%. Uh, some people only manage 10 tricks, but I, I think this hand really well led itself to a uh, cross rough there. Um, hey Phil, thanks for coming in. I <laughs> I just got a sense of deja vu. So uh, I just saw the next hand pop up, but look what my hand was. And then I was like, huh, did that actually change? Is that the same hand? <laughs> Triple four one, single tenacer hearts. It is a different hand, but it was just like, what's going on? <laughs> well, I didn't open a no trump the last time. I won't do it again. Um, this one we've got, what, 17 points. So uh, diamond. Uh, partner doubled, so they've got four spades. So this is like three or four spades. Um, I think I'll just bid three, um, but I don't mind upgrading it to four. Maybe I should have. All right, uh, spade lead. Okay, so that's going to help sort that out, but uh, entries here are pretty awkward. Um, I got two club losers, I've got four diamond losers. And if I duck this first spade, I'm in the wrong hand. Maybe I just go in with the ace and lead a diamond straight up. Uh, right. First of all, glad I'm not in four spades. So um, I think I chose well there. Um, okay, one heart, two hearts. Hearts are five, three, west over cold, east can raise. Points wise, five opposite my 17 is 22. 18 points missing, so let's go like 12 and six or uh, nine and nine. So West is like 
9 to 12, east is 6 to 9. Um, I really don't want to be on the lead uh, in the south hand at like trick two. Like, what do I do? Like, win the spade and just play another spade back up? Like, I could do that. Um, but ideally, I want to start uh, leading diamonds and clubs from that north hand. I think I, but if I don't finesse the spade now, it's sort of like when, when else am I going to? I'm quite sure East would have the queen. It's very rare that someone would lead away from the queen of spades, but the timing of the whole hand is going to be awkward. I think I can draw two rounds of trumps and then try and uh, get there. I also think it might be worthwhile just putting in the ten of spades just so that they have to put in the queen or else I have that entry straight away. Okay, so we'll draw another one, and are they 4-1? They're not. They are 4-1. Okay, I'm really glad I put in that 10 of spades and wasted that. Um, right. Okay, so west is a 5-4 shape. I've got four spades and five hearts. Uh, so I've only got four minor suit cards. And because of, my, because of my ploy of using the Ten of Spades, I'm now in this spot that they're going to start tapping me in hearts, uh, which means that um, <laughs> it means that they're going to get extra trump tricks because of it. So uh, this hand has fallen apart hard. So um, first of all, I'm not in a very good position for getting a good score. So if I get out with about 50% on this hand, I've done well. Um, okay, so, right, um, eight of clubs shift, so, uh, guess, like, Maybe there's King Queen Doubleton there. West only has four minor suit cards. East didn't want to continue hearts. I could, yeah, I'll just lose this. Ooh, King. So I think East has the Queen of Clubs. All right. Um, can rough, I'll draw a trump. It's gonna rough a diamond. Yeah, so. Um, uh, West has a trump still. I can just finesse this with safety. They'll show out. They can take their top heart. And then I've got the uh, final two tricks. So down one. So it won't be a good score, but probably won't be terrible. 57%. So really happy to get out with 57% there. Uh, some people bid four spades. No one managed to make three spades. Felt like if I saved my low spade, maybe I could do it. Yeah, like we can, you can make three spades if you pick it well. Um, so very, very happy that I got 57% uh, there. Uh, some people opened one no trump for the win. So <laughs> as I talked about earlier, uh, this is the hand that you might consider it. And you can see how uh, this one uh, worked out well for them. Um, but you got a 4-4 spade fit and missing that spade fit feels like it would usually be bad. The bad breaks made it uh, awkward there. Okay, uh, moving on to hand number three and we've got 14 points, five card suit. I love upgrading these into a no trump. Um, so one no and partner is showing a 5-5 five, five game forcing hand. So. Here, if I bid three spades, this should show extras. So if you look in that description, it says 17 high card points. So to show a fit and a minimum, uh, jump to four spades. And partners bidding key cards, so we can show two without the queen. And we're in six spades. So partners should have some extra shape and my hand's pretty bad for them. But the diamonds are perfect. My partner certainly has their bid. All right, um, we've got a nine card spade fit. 
Jack of diamonds. So we've got no diamonds to lose. I've got these three hearts and spade hearts might be three, three. They might be four, two. Um, all right. So, so anything else I can do with them? Ooh, Jack to the King. My nine, eight of diamonds might be good for, uh, like if that was a from Jack 10, can play a diamond to the queen and then a roughing diamond finesse. So that might be something I, I could consider. Alternatively, I could try and rough hearts and set them up. So let's say that uh, I draw two rounds of trumps. If they're two, two, then I can just play a diamond to the queen, nine of diamonds, my eight can discard one. Spades are two, two and play on, on diamonds could work. Uh, alternatively, I could just like draw one round of trumps and go ace, king of hearts and try trumping another heart. Uh, if I get over off, that's not great. Um, I could draw all the trumps, but if I, if trumps are three, one, and I draw all the trumps, it's really messy there. So I think I like drawing two rounds of trumps. Sounds pretty awkward. Uh, what? All right, let's say hearts are four two, and I just get one heart rough. Like my issue here is if I don't draw all the trumps, but then go ace king of hearts heart rough, and I get over roughed, uh, I am down. If I draw two rounds of trumps, like no matter how many trumps I draw, I'm in like this really awkward place. Um, I think playing on the diamonds is quite appealing to me. I don't, I really don't know what the best line here is. So, uh, let's just draw two rounds of trumps. Very happy to see that there too, too. Okay. So, uh, diamonds were three, three. We've got the rest there. Uh, someone that's better at, uh, percentages. I'd love to know, like, should I rough hearts? Should I go after diamonds? What about if spades like that one's like, a nightmare. I really don't know what the best line is, so I just ended up picking one. Uh, looks like everything works, so um, no real issues there. Uh, a bunch of people just in four spades, which is when they don't open this one no trump. Um, but uh, yeah, the one no trump opening certainly worked well. Partner has a fantastic hand there. Um, yeah. Moving on to board number four, and here we've got 13 count spade pass and no trump. My heart suit's great gonna go in and bid two hearts probably don't want to get too high on this hand oh, okay <laughs> yes I do uh, like it, the, the main worry I've got on this hand is the opponents haven't supported spades so like when it goes a spade pass or no trump having three low spades is like a really unappealing uh, thing to be doing um, so that's why I wasn't too keen to get too high on the hand um, but uh, my partner's got a pretty good hand um, that being said, I've still got three spade losers. I might have a heart loser. Um, I might have a diamond loser. Looks like hearts, are, uh, spades are six, two. Um, like, do I just hope that hearts break three, three? Seems unlikely. Uh, I could try and set up to rough one of my uh, spades. I will get over roughed if the Jack of Hearts is in East, but that might be okay. Um, all right, so a win there. I'm not too worried about a Singleton Diamond. I really think that they would have led that if they led the Singleton Diamond if they had it. I think. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. All right, so let's try and rough this uh, high. Okay, so East had three spades, so that's curious. Um, they didn't support, and they had the King of Spades, the Jack of Diamonds, maybe nothing else. 
So they might have a really weak raise. They don't have that strong raise. All right, and we're just losing one heart from here, um, but my diamonds are good. 78%. Add a flat six count there. Hello? Like trying to rough that diamond is a bit dangerous, but uh, the alternative is like, well, I've got these three spade losers. What am I going to do about them? Um, so them attacking the diamonds. Uh, I was really just hoping the jack of hearts was in the um, other hand, so that when I try and rough the uh, spade, I don't get over roughed because um, they're set up to try and trump their diamonds eventually there. Lots of people in four hearts making some going down. Moving on to board number five. And here we've got 10, 18 points. Gonna treat this as 18, 19 balanced. Rebid two no trumps. Great. <laughs> I really don't like two no as a contract. And this is uh, why. Um, all right. I've got two club winners and a spade winner. Um, Zero entries to my partner's hand. Uh, I might be able to build four diamonds. That still leaves me short. Um, they might attack hearts and give me a heart trick. I could play like ace of spades spade and then they should be able to not let me get to that hand. Um, the nine of diamonds is almost a potential entry, but it's not so. Uh, I'm just going to set up diamonds and hope for the best. Um, okay, so they're setting up my hearts. Okay, they, they cashed one top heart, which is curious. Um, and then back to diamonds. All right, let's see what's going on here. Okay. There's a heart and let's just set up this extra winner there. Um, so someone discarded a heart, I believe. So I think that they have to lead spades now. That's away from the king. Ah, I had my hopes. Yeah, so two no going down. Um, I don't think I could have done anything. 53%, so I'll take it. Uh, pretty much everyone's in two no going down. Some people bid one no. Um, I think that's underbidding the hand a bit. Like this is a really powerful hand, but uh, it like the lack of entries brought us down. Our partner had only five points. I really liked their response to them, but they only had five points. Um, and we had zero entries to the hand, so that hand always falls apart. Um, so I definitely think this was worth showing 18, 19, and just taking 53%. Uh, 15 points and a semi-balanced hand, stiff king, lots of short uh, honors here. Um, all right, I'll just compete. Not interested in game, I just wanna push them up. And they're at the three level, so good. All right, and I'm not on the lead, which is good as well. Okay, uh, Dummy's got six points. Um, all right, we might get a diamond, maybe a club, maybe a heart. Uh, maybe I wanna overtake this and lead hearts myself. Uh, so my partner has got like, I think Wes has ace, queen of spades and maybe like the queen of clubs and a heart card. I think me leading hearts is more beneficial, so I'm going to overtake here and just lead the ten of hearts. And yeah, we'll, we'll see what uh, comes. Three diamonds, right? Let's try the ace and then uh, 
Uh, I feel like I'm gonna get... Am I gonna get a club trick? Maybe one club trick and then that's it. I don't, my partner's showing up with a decent amount of points, but uh, their spades weren't quite good enough. Forty-two percent. Did some people bid on to four diamonds or something? Yeah, so four diamonds worked out well today. Um, I'm very hesitant to go to the four level. Um, and we had like a bunch of good defensive cards. It really wouldn't shock me beating up three spades on this sort of hand. But the singleton diamond was uh, really good for the opponents. Um, and the ace, the king of hearts was in the right side. All these sorts of things. Other times I think three spades would be going down. Uh, so I was happy to defend them. We're on to board number seven, and here we've got 17 points, six card spade suit. So one spade, three spades, and not interested in slam. Uh, partners three spades was 10 to 12. Um, I'm interested in slam now. <laughs> uh, partners got magic cards for us. All right, so... Um, Singleton heart and those three other kings was not even close to envisaging that. Uh, right, so we want to work out can we throw our two hearts away, and that's only if diamonds are 3-3. Three, three. We just want to be careful of entries here, so it's just draw trumps and then just trying to uh, set up the diamonds, see if they're 3-3. Three, three. If they are, great, we take all 13. Come on. Ah, oh. <laughs> I had such high hopes, but uh, just making a 12 here. Yep, 50%. Um, everyone was doing the same. All right, two people bid slam. One person made it and one person didn't, went down. They opted for four, no. Like, here, what I'd look for is like, what's the perfect 10 count my partner could have that I think there. Like ace of hearts and two kings and then we're on a finesse. Um, so like it would, the, the singleton heart just wasn't in the realm of things that I was considering there. Uh, board number eight, flat 16 count. Um, got a fit, uh, start bidding that. Tell my partner we've got a fit. Pretty weak. Um, this really should be like, yeah, uh, no, nah, no interest there. So I'll take my partner at their word, especially because this two spade bid is just like a catch all bid, it doesn't promise six. So I was vaguely considering trying to bid three no, um, which looks like it probably would have been okay. Um, so we've got no club losers after the lead. Uh, we have one diamond loser, two heart losers, and some in spades. In spades, I want to finesse. In diamonds, I want to finesse. Even if the diamond finesse fails, I can throw a heart away. Um, okay, the two of clubs looks like clubs are 4 3 or 6 1, but uh, just cross over there. Yeah, so clubs are 4 3. So no fear of uh, that getting trumped. And let's catch the ace, see if the king falls. Nope. All right. Um, we'll cross over there and need a diamond. All right, so we can just uh, cash this. Um, like there's some chance that East just has the king of hearts and spades and has to lead away from it. They might have the last club and just be able to trump and play a club. Uh, but I have this heart loser, so let's just see if I can make them lead away from the king. No.
50%. A couple of really flat boards just to finish off with. Um, yeah, looks like a relatively routine force made. Some people I thought might get overboard on that one. Uh, but uh, pretty happy with that weekly free instant tournament. Um, board three was a very interesting one. I still don't know how best to play it. So if someone wants to work that out and uh, work out, is it better to draw all the trumps or just draw one or two rounds of trumps? I don't really know. Uh, is it better to take the ace king of hearts and rough hearts or is it better to try and set up diamonds after the jack to the king play? Um, yeah, really curious about that one. Uh, but hope you all enjoyed uh, this weekly free instant tournament. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.